make some noise for the richest man in the world. You just watched the world's richest man get viciously booed at Dave Chappelle's show in San Francisco. And there's more videos that I want to play for you. But first, I've got to ask the question, what was the point of Elon Musk being brought up on stage? Because very clearly the crowd wasn't receptive to him being there. One, because they were there to see Dave Chappelle. And two, it was evident that there wasn't really anything planned. There was no bit. He was just on stage pacing awkwardly back and forth while the crowd loudly booed him. And I've got to ask, why was he there? Was he going to be part of a comedy skit? Was he going to do a bit himself? It seemed like Dave Chappelle brought him on stage to just be like, look. And the crowd was like, okay, boo, back to you. So I just, I don't know what Dave Chappelle expected to happen here. I think that... Maybe he believed that the crowd would like Elon Musk because they're kind of similar, ideologically speaking. They're both transphobic. They're both anti-SJW. So maybe he thought that this would go differently. But no, the crowd wasn't receptive to Elon Musk being there. And you can tell that Dave Chappelle started to get angry and proceed to scold the crowd because they would not stop booing for minutes. So, fuck you for booing, but also I hope that you find happiness. Amen. <laughs> what is happening? I swear to God, Dave Chappelle's head is so far up his ass that he has not seen daylight for years. How did you think that this would go over? Why is Elon Musk at your comedy show? Why would you think that people wanted to hear from him? He's irrelevant. They came to see you, and yet you're seemingly angry that they're booing at him. I just don't get it. And my favorite part was when Dave Chappelle was like, uh, well, you could blow all you want, but he sent me a Christmas gift pack last year or something like that. Oh, okay. Why didn't you just mention that up front? Because if we knew that he sent you a Christmas gift pack last year, then we wouldn't have booed. 
Why would we care about that, Dave? What? I can't. I, I can't handle these out of touch rich snobs who think that they're better than everyone. And if something that they say or do doesn't land, then they immediately take to blaming the audience and not themselves for just flailing. And you could tell that even Elon Musk didn't know why he was there because he said, Dave, what should I say? So you mean to tell me that you brought out the world's richest man to just say, look, and you thought that that would suffice? I just, I don't understand what Dave Chappelle was thinking here. And I've got to play probably the most lethally cringeworthy clip from this entire thing when Elon Musk, he tried to be more endearing to the audience and it did not go over well. Painful, just painful. And people online are saying that he said, I'm rich, bitch. But it sounded like he was saying, I'm Rick, bitch, if you listen. And I listened multiple times. So I think that he actually fucked up the line that he was trying to say. It's either I'm rich, bitch, or I'm Rick James, bitch. But instead, Elon Musk seemingly said, I'm Rick, bitch. That's not the line. I just... I don't know what to say. Now, Elon Musk on Twitter, he responded to the booze after someone pointed it out. And he's very clearly feeling some cognitive dissonance because after he purchased Twitter and got a lot of weird right wing freaks to start cheering for him, I guess that he thought normal people would like him, but he's still not very liked. So he wrote this. Technically, it was 90% cheers and 10% booze. Bullshit, except during quiet periods. But still, that's a lot of booze, which is a first for me in real life, frequent on Twitter. It's almost as if I've offended San Francisco's unhinged leftists. But nah. Now, Alejandra Caraballo ratioed him with this perfect drill tweet, which reads, and another thing, I'm not mad. Please don't put in the newspaper that I got mad. But he's definitely mad. And he's coping by claiming that he was booed because the unhinged leftists didn't like that he was there. Elon, you were at a Dave Chappelle stand-up event in the year 2022. Dave Chappelle is one of the most vicious transphobes in America. He's made it abundantly clear that he hates trans people. So anyone who was there either also hates trans people, which makes them not a leftist, or they were there to see Dave Chappelle despite his obvious and blatant transphobia. So to chalk this up to being hated by the unhinged leftists, it's just, it's complete bullshit. But yet he's taking this personal and he thinks it's the wokesters that booed him. So he tweeted this out also. The woke mind virus is either defeated or nothing else matters. Yes, because the woke mind virus is a more salient problem than anthropogenic climate change or the fact that people die every single year because they don't have healthcare. It's definitely the woke mind virus. Look, I, I think that he believed that he was in safe territory. He was up on stage with a fellow transphobe and thought that the audience would love him. But no, just because you have a lot of weird right wingers online cheering for you doesn't mean that normal working class people like you in real life. Normal people don't want to simp for billionaires. You're part of the problem. You're part of the owner class, the donor class. You're an oligarch and they see you as a reason why they're currently living in poverty because people like you are so greedy. You hoard your wealth, treat your employees like shit. So even if they were there to see Dave Chappelle and they're not necessarily that woke, still they can acknowledge, working class people can acknowledge that people like you are the problem, Elon Musk. They see through the pandering and I think that Scarlet Red put it best. Elon is discovering the one thing that money can't buy is the love and respect of regular people. And that is exactly correct. Just because you have money doesn't mean that people are automatically going to respect you. In fact, most people see you as a fucking loser, Elon Musk, because you are. You're awkward, you're stupid, you're unhinged, you very clearly didn't get bullied enough in school, you're just a dumb person and we're stuck with you because you have money and because you have money, well, you also have power in a capitalist society. So we just have to deal with you buying companies and being visible for the foreseeable future because you love attention and you refuse to go away, but I mean so long as you are going to be in the public eye and you continue to act like a buffoon and make a fool of yourself and pander to right-wing weirdos and conspiracy theorists, most normal people are going to think that you're a clown because you are a clown. So we'll leave that there. I don't know what to say. I don't know what Dave Chappelle was thinking. I don't know what Elon Musk was thinking. It's funny that he expected people to cheer for him. 
But no, most people don't like you, Elon Musk. Sorry, but it's true. And Dave Chappelle, pull your head out of your ass and maybe start being funny again. Up yours, up yours, up yours. Sons of bitches, bitches, bitches. Wolf, moralist, wolf, moralist, wolf, moralist. I dreamed I saw my maternal grandmother. She was stroking herself absentmindedly. I let her have her way. Her genital region was exposed. I let her have her way.